are you aware of this? Has any UMNO made any calls to probably sit down and talk? And also, uh, why do you think Pakatan Kumpunan? Uh, well, this, uh, this is the first time I heard about unity government that comprise of opposition, which is UMNO and Pakatan Harapan. The fact is, Pakatan Harapan has won. Uh, Pakatan Harapan has formed the government. And we have the majority uh, in parliament, you know, in number of seats and whatnot. And UMNO uh, has lost, uh, though they have a certain number of MP, but it is not enough to constitute uh, the majority. So this is the first time I heard about him saying that we want to form a unity government. Uh, I'm not too sure about what my other uh, friends uh, in Pakatan uh, would say about this. But the fact is, uh, it is not viable. As I can see, it, uh, Amno plus, it never is viable. Because people have rejected Amno, and Pakatan Harapan knew that we won, and Amno has lost because people have no more trust. And all the issues that you know related to corruptions and abuse of power is very much related to what UMNO is. And what is remain is what is the number of seats that they have in parliament. So I do not know whether they have made some gesture to other yeah. Pakatan uh, leaders. But as far as Pesatu is concerned, uh, this is not, uh, I don't think it's acceptable. Are there any PBBM uh, leaders or members meeting UMNO to ask well, we have uh, stated that very clearly. I think Tone in some occasion have explained uh, that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the party is open to all. You all can join us as well, even though you're not a member of parliament. You can join us and we are very receptive to new members to join the party. Of course, we, we also thought of people who who has uh, contested and won, but they lost the election, like members of AMNO, other parties. And there are already incidences of a few of them who made a choice to leave the original party, AMNO, and then they say they want to join Besatu. Uh, we cannot refuse that, though Besatu has its own policy. Uh, I have already uh, discussed this at our Supreme Council today, what our policies are as regard to cases of this sort. You know, uh, if they are, uh, express their intention, we will consider them. Uh, but the option to receive them and be part of us will be ours. There are cases where we feel, I think this is okay, I think this guy is not so okay, for whatever the reason is, nah? then yeah, that's it. Of course, and there is a time that we need to evaluate how sincere are they when they want to participate and be part of Bersatu, whether they are aiming for certain things or they say they want to join in because they are sincere, they are not looking for any position. So those are the matters that need to be considered as well. But as far as we are concerned, we are still open. I mean, if there is any intention of any of those people that say they want to meet any of our leaders here, me, Tone and whatnot, we are willing to speak. After all, I know all of them practically. I am willing to sit down and we we'll listen. If it is uh, something which is uh, good for us, then of course then we can decide. But the the option, I would say, is Besatu's option. Tan Sri, uh, Sa uh, Sa uh, Saeed Hamid Alba was recently made a member in your party and also the chair of the elections <coughs> committee. On, on what basis was he given the position? Because well, we have the right to choose anybody who has been in the party to have some role to play. Uh, it is not in the constitution. But the party will undergo our election process very soon, which is next year. So there's a lot of things that need to be done, and we thought Sarmin has got some experience uh, based on the past experiences uh, that he is willing to work and help us, and it's okay. It doesn't matter, so as long as he's a member of Basatu. But considering he is from the other party? He's from the other party, like me also from the other party <laughs> before, but I was sacked. So, but he's already a member of Basatu. So you have to come to a point when you have to forget about the past and look beyond the future, beyond the, uh, what is in the future. So anybody who joins us and say they are willing to serve and do something for the party, uh, we'll be happy to receive them.
Kenapa tindakan ini diambil untuk membubarkan BBM Negeri Sembilan uh, tak kala uh, Pakatan Harapan akan meletakkan calon itu Datuk Seri Anwar untuk bertanding di BPD? Adakah keputusan ini akan menjejaskan kempen Datuk Seri Anwar? Uh, itu tidak akan menjejaskan kerana untuk membantu jentera Pakatan di sana, PBBM Pusat akan terlibat. Uh, ramai pemimpin yang ada, sebahagian di sini pun akan tolong membantu. Ya, itu juga penting. Walaupun begitu, kita menghadapi masalah. Sebelum ini pun, kalau ada pun pilihan raya apa pun dengan keadaan uh, PBBM yang agak tidak tersusun dan bermasalah, dia tak boleh membantu sesiapa pun. So, while we understand that this is coming in because of election, it's not because of that. We hope we can resolve it in, in the meantime, macam now lah. But it'll take a bit of time. Uh, dia akan memerlukan masa untuk kita betulkan ni soal politik dengan sikit masa untuk redakan keadaan. Tapi kalau tak selesai ni, akan datang lagi bermasalah macam-macam ni. Okay. Tantri, I'd like to ask about uh, IPCNC. Recently, EAIC was rebranded as IPCNC. Tapi bawa akta tu is EAIC lagi. So, is there, when will the bill be brought to parliament? Uh, uh, in principle, of course, we have already agreed to the IPMC. I think uh, Tone Prime Minister has announced that effect, I think, last uh, meeting uh, where he chaired and he said that, that it is a body that we have agreed to form. Uh, the KDN and the me have already taken all the initiative uh, to look into this in detail. Uh, discussion with the respective stakeholders, uh, with the uh, police in particular and the rest of people who have expressed their concern about it and we need to take that into account. Even some members of the police force find that it is a bit difficult because of the existence of Suruhan Jaya Pemadatan Police, where the powers to to take actions against or this matter is handled at that level. But that in our study we have already made changes. So IPCMC is going to be a commission. There will be a specific law as regard to IPCMC, where we define uh, the the scope of work and whatnot. And uh, this, uh, of course, will be brought uh, to cabinet very soon. At my ministry's level, we nearly are at the last stage to polish every detail. And then later on, of course, the preparation for the draft uh, bill uh, that will be tabled to parliament as soon as possible. What are the problems currently? You said that some people have some concerns, the police have some concerns, and you said there's already an existing Surajaya. But apart from that,